To start off with this tutorial, you're going to want to have a basic Discord bot already set up. To set up a basic Discord bot, you're going to want to check out this video right up here where I teach you guys how to do it. But if you guys already have it set up or have done it beforehand yourself, then you should have something similar to my screen. And if that's done, then we can get into the code of this video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new event. This is going to be an on message event. In our on message event, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple things. We're going to scan for two things. Number one, if our messenger is our bot, then we want to ignore it. And if it's private message. So at bots out events, and now we want to say async def on underscore message. And now we want to get the message. And after that, what we want to do is we want to get our first check. So that's going to be if message.author equals equals bot.user. Okay. And I, yeah, and there are no parentheses. Sorry about that. And then what we want to do is we just want to return nothing. And then after that, we want to say else. And now we want to check if it's a private message. The way we can do that is we can say if str. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say message dot channel dot type oh shoot <laughs> equals equals private then all we want to do is we're going to say we're going to get the guild so now what we want to do is we want to get into actual like most of logic so we're going to say guild equals bot dot get underscore guild and the way we can get the guild is we need our server's ID. So the way you can get your server's ID is by going on to Discord and just copy uh, and turning on developer mode and copying your server's ID. And then what you want to do is you just want to paste it as an integer here. And then after that, you want to create and you want to fetch all your channels. The way you can do that is you can say channels equals await guild dot fetch. Uh, fetch underscore oh, sorry underscore channels and just like that we've got in all the channels and the reason we're doing that is to loop through all the channels and find if our channel has already been made because we're creating tickets right and if it has already been made then we're gonna uh, uh, then we're just gonna send the message there else we're gonna uh, we're actually gonna do the work and we're gonna create a new channel so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say channel equals uh, and then we're going to say discord.utils.get and now what we're going to do is we're going to pass all the channels so we're going to say channels and now we're going to say the name so name equals and i'm going to name each channel after the uh that uh, after the person's and i don't know why this is running and <laughs> uh, after the per after the messenger's id so i'm going to say str or you don't even need the str because it'll automatically do it author.id and just like that, you should have your channel already made. And uh, not already made, you should have your channel. But if it hasn't been made, then it's going to be none. So if channel is none, then all we want to do is we want to actually create the channel. So we're going to create a new embed. Embed var equals, and embeds are very basically a nice way of displaying information. And they're really helpful because if you use embeds, um, then yeah, they just look really great. And if you want to know how they look, then uh, if you've ever seen dino logs, or you could just search up dino logs, or you could search up images of basically discord.py embeds or anything like that. So we're going to create a new embed, and it's going to say discord.embed. <coughs> And now what we want to do is we want to make a title equals, and my title is going to be a formatted string. I'm going to say um, message.author has uh, sent a, or sorry, no, our, our, sorry, so for our embed should be the moderator, uh, you've created a new thread. So you... So it's going to be like uh, a new thread has been created uh, and then yeah and then we can just say like the mods will be there shortly or something like that. I'm just going to say a new thread has been created. But yeah you can elaborate on that. Sorry. We're going to be doing the formatted string a little later. So now what we're going to do is you can add a color. 
um, to the side of it, but the default is black, and I like that for all these sort of, for like the, just the sort of things like new thread has been created and stuff like that, but if you do want to create, uh, if you do want like a color, then you just have to do color, and then you can add a code, and I'm just going to put the codes as a comment right over, right over here so uh the codes uh the codes that i know are blue red and green but there are of, uh, of course some more which you can search up on your own so this is blue this is red and this is green i normally use green anyways now what we want to do is we want to um we just want to send the user that so message dot uh message dot author dot send embed equals and then we're gonna say embed bar and you don't even need the spaces if you don't want them okay and then after that we want to actually create a new channel so the way we can do that is using a category so we uh, we have to get the category and then we have to create a channel using our guild object so we're going to say category equals and now we're going to say discord dot utils uh dot and i think it's you utils dot get and now what we want to do is we want to scan through all the categories and I think it's, I always spelled that wrong, so I'm just going to copy and paste that. So, guild.categories, and then we're going to say name equals, and my uh, category name is tickets. And then once that's done, we want to continue, and we want to say channel equals, and now we, what you want to do is we want to create it. So, await, and we're going to say guild.create underscore text underscore channel. And then what we want to do is uh, our channel name is going to be the message dot author dot id, right? And then it, and then what we're going to do is our category is going to be our category. So category equals category. And there's a, a small error actually. So that for the name right here we should have str. So just realize that you don't have to have it for this one you don't have to have it here but you have to have it right here so I just wanted to let you guys know so I just realized that anyways now what we want to do is we want to actually send a new embed which is going to be displaying what the person actually sent so the mods can see it so so I think my indentation is a little off but here so right there and here what I'm going to say is this is actually going to be the formatted string so it's going to be message dot author has sent a new message and the description is going to be the message uh, the message dot content so description equals message dot content and the color because i bet i want to add a color for these for my for me it's just going to be green but you can of course use red or um yellow or whatever you guys want you guys can search those up these are the ones i'll have in the github documentation right below but of course don't copy and paste from the github documentation you're not going to learn anything like that and then um uh, we just want to and then after that we just want to write one last line of code which is await bot dot process commands and we're just gonna put the message so this is gonna allow us to create commands and these are very important of course so now what we want to do is we want to create two new commands one is going to be for the mods and it's going to be a send command because we're not going to be using on message for mods and they're going to have a special command but if you do want to know how you can um, just have the mods not use a command and just type i could make a part two it's actually kind of simple but if you it's a little bit complex really but it the solution once you get it is pretty simple uh if you want me to do it then leave a comment letting me know that i should do it if you don't want me to do it leave a comment same below Anyways, what we want to do is we want to make a new command. So at bot, bot, oh, I spelled this wrong, bot talk command. And then we want to have a description. You don't have to have a description, but I like having descriptions. So a description used to DM. And then we want to check if it has permissions. So we're, all we're going to do is commands dot has permissions. And we're going to say manage underscore messages equals true because um, that, that is what mods have. And then we're gonna create the actual function. So async def send, and we're gonna get the CTX or the commands context. We're gonna get the user, uh, the discord user. So I'm just gonna say discord.user. So discord.user. And we're gonna get the actual message. And the asterisk is for the last value. And then, 
we're about to do this. And then all we're going to do is we're going to create a new embed. So we can just copy and paste this embed. A lot of embeds, I know. But um, I, I, I like embeds a lot. You don't have to use them. But yeah, I, I, I think that they really elevate your bot to another level. So yeah, they're only like two, another line of code than just sending something. So I think it's worth it. Anyways, um, so our description is just going to be our message that we've passed. Our title is going to be, oh, our title is going to be the mods have sent you a new message. And then we're just going to send this to the user. So we're just going to say user.send. So let me, I don't know why this is. So now we're, we're just going to say user.send. And just like that, we've created the send command. There's one last command, and that's close ticket. So um, you can copy and paste this if you want to. So, and then I'm just going to have another description. Um, it, I don't put like the most vivid descriptions, but it definitely does help. I believe that descriptions really do elevate it too. So why not? And then um, we want to have manage, uh, and then again, the same permissions. And I'm just going to make async def close, right? So close the ticket and ctx or otherwise known as the commands context and all I want to do is await ctx.channel.delete just like that we can delete the channel and we want a parentheses and then the thread really has just been closed you can also contact the user um, beforehand because the, uh, because basically the you, the channel name is the bot's id so you can just uh, contact them like that if you want if you want me to know uh, if you want to know how then i i can leave it down in the comments if you guys want me to comment if you want me to leave it in the comments or in the description also like the video subscribe do all the youtuber stuff and um, you know i hope you guys like this really so we're just going to run it one time to make sure everything is looking okay. So for me, it should send bot is ready, and then we'll know that it is working okay. I, I urge you guys to test this on your own too, uh, in case you guys made any typos, in case I made any typos. If I did make any mistakes, please leave that down in the comments. I do really appreciate feedback, um, but yeah, this might take a little bit of time, so I'm just going to pause the video and be right back. And just like that, the bot is ready. So I believe that it works. I've tested it. I'm going to test it out um, after this video. If you are seeing this on YouTube, then that means this is working. And if it isn't working, then you might see a message from my future self or something like that. Anyways, that's it for today. Bye. And I think that the outro is going to play. Who knows? Bye. Hey guys, Neil from the future, just like I predicted. Uh, there's just a few errors. Um, it's just, I forgot the awaits, so that's fine. Uh, we can just add this. So await message.author.send, await message.author.send, and we just want to say await user.send. And just like that, that should be enough. Um, I'll be back, so I'm just going to pause the video, test it out, and I'll be back if there are any errors. And... Okay, right, as I expected, there's just one more error. Uh, actually, yeah, so what we want to do is we want to say channel.send, not um, message uh, message.author.send. And then, um, yeah, so that should be it. Right, so that should be it, and um, that should be good, right. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to test it out one more time. I'm sorry for the errors. I, I'm not the best at spelling, and I just make these errors sometimes. But, uh, yeah, let me. Um, ju I'm just going to pause it and then check it one more time. Okay, right, everything works. Um, yeah, so everything works. Uh, I, I accidentally just... My name is actually called Tickets, but I mean, this this just depends on what your category is named. But yeah, so everything works, everything is good. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys again for watching. And make sure to smash that like button and let's try to get to 400 subscribers. We're at 350 right now. Thank you guys so much for the support and bye.